Snoopy on the Job by Charles M. Schultz. It was a sunny day and Lucy was very excited. She was having a yard sale. Step right up, she shouted. Quality merchandise at reasonable prices. And remember, Lucy continued, you break it, you bought it. Lucy wasn't the only one excited about the day's event. Snoopy and Woodstock loved yard sales. Woodstock chirped happily and showed Snoopy an album. Snoopy gave it a thumbs down. Snoopy and Woodstock continued to look through the items. They were looking for the perfect thing, but they couldn't seem to find it. Just then, Snoopy spotted an empty fishbowl. Snoopy and Woodstock gasped. This was it, the perfect thing. Snoopy and Woodstock imagined they were deep sea divers. They couldn't believe all the beautiful things they spotted under the sea. They even saw a mermaid. But their daydream was quickly interrupted when they realized the mermaid was Lucy. Can I help you? She asked. I see you're interested in one of my precious artifacts. Snoopy nodded and smiled. He and Woodstock grabbed the fishbowl and started to walk away. Not so fast, Lucy yelled. This is a yard sale, not a yard sale giveaway. 50 cents, please. Snoopy didn't have any money, but he did have a dog bone. He tried to put it in the money tin. No dog bones, Lucy said. Woodstock didn't have any money either, but he did have a packet of bird seed. No bird seed either, Lucy shouted. I need cold, hard cash. She took the fishbowl away from them. believe that dog? Lucy asked Linus. He expects quality merchandise for free. Well, not all economies exchanged money for merchandise, Linus said. Some countries used to trade services for food and spices. As Linus walked away, Lucy thought for a moment, you know, my brother may be a blockhead but sometimes he has good ideas. Hey Snoopy, Lucy called. How about we trade services? You two can do some chores around the house and I'll give you the fishbowl. Do we have a deal? Snoopy and Woodstock chatted for a moment. Snoopy then nodded in agreement and shook hands with Lucy. Lucy held up a list. You can start by painting the fence, she began. Then you can cut the grass, do the laundry, and fix the flat tire on my bike. Snoopy and Woodstock got right to work. Soon they were done painting the fence, but it wasn't exactly what Lucy had in mind. This is a disaster, she shouted. Next, it was time for Snoopy and Woodstock to mow the lawn. They both had a difficult time starting the mower. Then the lawn mower took off on its own. Now it was time to do Lucy's laundry. Snoopy picked up a pile of blue dresses and stuffed them in the washing machine. Then he dumped in a lot of detergent. Woodstock helped close the lid.
Lastly, it was time to fix Lucy's flat tire. Snoopy pumped the tire full of air. A lot of air. The tire suddenly popped, causing the bike to fly through the air. Just then, Lucy decided to check in on Snoopy and Woodstock. What happened to the garden? She asked in disbelief. And is that my bike? And what's that noise? You blockhead, she yelled. Forget about the list. I'll make you a new deal. Agree to stop doing chores for me and I'll give you the bowl for free. Woodstock and Snoopy thought this was a great idea. They shook hands with Lucy and grabbed the fishbowl. Then they headed back to Snoopy's doghouse to go on another exciting deep sea adventure. Lucy sighed. <sighs> Dogs in yard cells definitely do not mix, she grumbled.